Hello, my name is Janet Garcia from EmpowerToChange.com. Uh, one of the biggest questions that we get from customers uh, over the last uh, couple of years, and, you know, as we gear towards more uh, social media, is that people ask, do I really need a fan page? Do I really need to get into it? Or is this just hype? What are other companies using? Are they using fan pages? Are my competitors out there using fan pages? Who's using it? And the answer is that almost everybody is using fan pages, at least serious businesses. But unfortunately, some of them are using it wrong. And I can say that the vast majority of them are not using the fan page the right way. So let's take a look. About a year and a half ago, I was uh, watching TV uh, on Maybelline, a Maybelline uh, commercial came up and at the end of the commercial they said check us out on Facebook. So I went to the internet uh, to see their website and I saw wow they really have a, a Facebook presence. And if you click that and go to their fan page you'll notice they have an excellent branding. They are featuring their product showing here their models wearing their makeup and they're keeping up uh, on the wall. But there is no like reveal. There is no strong motivation for people to click the like button. They got extra pages. And this is nicely done, except for that, that they don't have any application. There's no interaction right there. And because of this, they only got a little bit of 470,000 fans. Now, let me say this. The number of fans here may sound huge to you for a small business owner. Or if you are on an internet marketer or you're building your affiliate marketing. But for a company that is making millions and millions of dollars a year, I think this is a drop in the bucket. So they don't have that many fans, if you think about it. They should have at least 10 times that number. Now let's check out other people, what other people are doing. Let's check out Oil of Olay. Okay, this is another makeup company. Okay, you see it says find us on Facebook. But there's no link. A big boo-boo. They are well branding themselves. And the fact that they are using Facebook here and there. But where's the link? To get to the link, you have to scroll down here on the bottom. And then I click where it says find us on Facebook. Now once we get there again, they have nice branding. They are, well, uh, they are well presenting their products. They have excellent communication between people. But again, no like reveal. There's no mystery. And just like Maybelline, just had a little bit over 490,000 likes. And again, for a company this big, that's been around so many years and they make millions and millions of dollars and, and spend a lot in advertising, they, they should have way over half a million fans. Now let's take a look at Walmart. Walmart is the, the biggest department store uh, chain right now and it's probably the biggest in the world, I think. Scroll down to their main website. Here it is. And this is another big mistake that a lot of companies are making. They're hiding this at the bottom of the page. They should have these buttons at the top also. When I click here, they're taking me to another page with more links. Now, as you can see, they have two fan pages. The second one wasn't even there the last time I checked. But the primary one is the Walmart's fan page, main page. They have a cute branding here, as you can see, with kids and in on their store. Their logo is up here. Some other products, uh, and you can see there are commentaries in the last couple of hours. So there's some interaction, some recent interaction, and they have over six million fans. Now that sounds nice, right? Except for the fact that again, this company probably makes that amount in revenue per day, or maybe even more. So think about it. This is a 500 fortune company that you had a lot more fans than this. Let's check out their biggest competitor, which is uh, Target. There was a commercial in, in which they were talking about 
about them being the biggest competitor to Walmart. And, uh, you know, they got a little better branding with bigger icons, as you can see. However, again, they are burying the icons at the bottom of the page. I don't know why they keep doing this. Now let's click and see what they got. Okay, they have a nice logo branding. They got a new application, a new app. This one is very new. They got the option of sharing it with friends. And it's more fun, of course. But again, there is no like reveal. It is a step towards the right direction. And they are definitely doing a good job having over 4 million followers and are keeping up with their biggest competitor. But again, they are doing this on a daily basis. They're huge. They're a huge company. So they should be bigger. They should have lots more fans. Now let's look at this one, Kmart. And this is a company that was facing bankruptcy some time ago. And after restructuring their company, they are everywhere now. And within five to seven years, they even bought Sears Robot. And as you can see here at the bottom, they have some pay options. But again, the social icons are way too little and they are at the bottom. Again, big mistake. And just like the first couple that we have seen, they have a nice branding. They have nice communication. But look, only 455,902 followers. And I say only because this number should be a lot larger it should be huge but again as i mentioned before there is no motivation here when you land at their page for the first time now let's see pizza hut undeniably one of the best pizza branding out there that we have seen they got their social stuff their apps and even a job application here and and all the buttons everything is above the fold so people doesn't have to scroll to see it Okay, they have good branding, they have pictures of their product, but again, again, no reveal. And they're matching their mobile app right here on the fan page, but they're doing a little bit better than Kmart and have uh, 3.7 million fans almost. They have good interaction, etc. But they don't have the like reveal either. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. This is very important. Let's take a look at their competitors, Domino's Pizza. I don't know if you remember, but this is a company that used to promise you would get your pizza delivered within 20 minutes. And that's what really makes them famous. They have a huge advertisement here. Here is their, their big TV push saying that they're making their pizza even better and that you should try it. They're doing everything they can do to pull you to their doors. So let's take a look at their fan page. Okay, they have almost 3 million fans. And they got an app also. Again, this is a nice pull-in, but still they don't have a like reveal. Now, this is where I said their ad is nice. Look at this one. This is Red Bull. This is a sports drink that comes in, in two flavors, I think, one sugar-free and a regular one. And it comes maybe in three or four sizes. And the smallest one is always a buck or so more than the next size of their leading competitor. The branding is, as you can see, is all over the place. They have a Facebook, Twitter, Red Bull on Facebook, log on Facebook, and see, I like us, like us, all these like buttons, share buttons, make a comment buttons. They're really, really well branded. Let's see what they're doing that their competitors are not doing. Look, they do have a like reveal, as you can see, unmistakably. They have tons of arrows pointing to the like button, and you cannot miss that. Look at this, like our page, hint, hint. And if you look at what's behind, you can see that they have several sports product videos and they have a good branding here. And they now have over 20 million fans. Okay. Have you been counting everything I've been showing up until now? Did you compare these numbers with the other ones that we just saw? Look at this company that only have two products and have way more fans than anyone else that we have seen so far. 
And the one thing they're doing differently is that they do have a like reveal asking you to click the like button. So undeniable, all the arrows and all the little bit of fade out and the videos, they have great branding and over 20 million fans. When I first saw this, I, I thought it was just a fluke, but let, let's check out their number one competitor, Monster Energy. Look, Monster wants you to connect to their application on Facebook right here. That's very interesting. They got their own application to connect, but they're not branding as well. They're matching Twitter and down here, they have their little icons just in case you don't want to accept their application. You can always click on these icons to visit their fan page. So let's take a look. As you can see, they have more than the average. They have a little bit of interactivity. They have video. They got this little share button, but no hiding anything. They're no hiding anything. You can just click the video, play it, but that's it. They're not doing better than before and, and still they have 11 million fans. I would venture to say that uh, they could easily, easily double the amount of fans by having a like reveal. That's definitely. At least I would say 50% more than what they currently have. Because if you think about it, there's a lot of people that like Monster Energy Drink, a lot. But when you write to their page, there's no mystery. You come here, you press play, and you don't even have to like the page. There's no motivation to like the page. The difference between Monster and their lead competitor is exactly the like reveal page. And the videos were faded out, so you cannot watch anything until you click the like button. And their competitor, as we saw before, has almost twice as many fans. Big difference. So I, I hope that this is telling you something, right? Well, let me show you something here. Taco Bell. The other day I was uh, working late and I decided to check Taco Bell. As I wanted one of these XSL uh, chicken double burrito. So I went to their website to see if that was available here in my area. And as you can see right here, it says Facebook Taco Bell. So look, even fast food restaurants are doing this. Check this out. We have a like reveal page and look what it says. There's only one way to learn what's inside. You got to like us. <laughs> okay, so look, and they have 6.9 million fans on this fast food place. Now, but let's take a look at McDonald's. It seems they're having uh, some trouble here on their site. This icon is not working. But see here, they have a click share. They got their Facebook click. They don't have the like reveal either, but at least they have this cute little application with some interactivity. And they have a lot of fans because of that. And it shows uh, they have 8.9 million fans. So in other words, the more interactive that you get on your fan page, the more people that will be interactive with you, unlike the page. And I personally think that the like reveal page is definitely, definitely the way to go. You, you saw the difference between, uh, between one business and, and the other one that is not using it. So consider that there are a lot more people. So I personally think that the like reveal is definitely, definitely the way to go because you saw the difference between the pages that have a like reveal versus the one, the competitors that don't have the like reveal. And you could see that, that I, I, as I mentioned earlier, Red Bull had over a million more fans than all the people we have mentioned so far. And why? because they have the like reveal. They got a nice fan page set up. They're doing a little bit of, they have a, uh, a little bit of mystery 
in their page in which you have to click the like button to see their videos, to see what they have. And this is what I recommend. And this is what works the best. And this is what we're doing and uh, what we're doing with our customers. You can have it too. So click on the link below so, so you can learn more about it and how you can get your like reveal fan page also. So this is it for now. This is Janet Garcia from EmpowerToChange.com.